Hey everyone, Nick here from Gluten Free For You, and we've got a really cool Motion 5 tutorial for you today. And here's what we're going to be creating. We're going to be creating a lower third that you'll be able to use in Final Cut Pro X. And what you're seeing here is in real time. Um, this is just the quick uh, preview generated by Motion, which is running slow right now, unfortunately. But if we skim through it, see lower third will come out drop down and um, everything here except for the YouTube logo is all created entirely in motion 5 so let's go ahead and get started alright so to start open up motion 5 and choose down here final cut title I'm using my settings at broadcast HD 1080p uh, 29 frames per second and I'm just leaving it at 10 seconds as the duration because you can always change that in Final Cut Pro X. So now it opens up we've got our um, default spot here. Uh, delete the default text it gives you and come over here to your layers and click on the little plus for a new layer. Name that main body alright and now go ahead and grab your make sure that layer is selected and grab your rectangle tool and go ahead and draw about like that make that your rectangle and now create another layer well, actually it will create a new layer for you here come under your here and grab your circle tool and hold down shift while you do this next part draw a circle about like that grab your uh, select tool position it about like that alright that looks pretty good and now go ahead and come over and we're going to uh, create a gradient for these so if you select rectangle come under library and just grab any gradient, gradient that you can find here come under gradients and just drag any one of these onto there because we're going to create our own drag it onto rectangle layer and drag one also onto circle and if you like you can use the built-in gradients but I'm going to show you how to make a real nice one that'll uh, look pretty neat so let's take uh, your rectangle put the drop down on the gradient and double click right here double click on that color I'm going to start it off dark towards the top and fade down to a lighter color. About like that, and put one more here in the middle. You just click, give you one more, and for that one, make it a little bit brighter than the last, maybe a little bit darker. There we go. And now, go ahead and close up that gradient and come under here and say save gradient I'm going to save it as lower third 2 and now if you click your circle and choose your gradient you can come down here and you see lower third 2 click that and now your gradient is applied to both of those layers so that works out real nice and you've got no problems having to try to do it again and messing up one of the gradient spots so now for the uh, logo of course you can use any logo I'm just going to use the YouTube logo here to demonstrate I've got that uh, right here. That's my trash can. I got that right here on the desktop, and I'm going to drag that into the um, layers panel. I'm going to size it down with my select tool, and go ahead and drop it right there. All right. So there's that. And make sure that your that your YouTube logo is inside the group, underneath main body. Make sure it's above the um, circle, though. All right. And now we're going to go ahead and use the text. So again, create another layer. Drop it above your circle. You need to make sure that it's um doesn't add it to another group. Go ahead and um name that main text. 
take your text tool and go ahead and type something down. A little bit of shameless advertising there. And create another layer and name that one subtext. And put that there. Only on YouTube. And go ahead and go to the inspector now for that and size it down to about drag the little slider down to about um, say 37, 38. And take your select tool and position that now. Right about there. Alright, so now that we've made our um, lower third, let's go ahead and start keyframing it. So go ahead and select, um, first of all, select the main body, go ahead and close this up, and drag it off screen. Alright, now go ahead and press keyframe recording. Move it over to about just before one second. And this is where it gets a little bit tricky. Let's drag this over here and to make sure that we get a straight, nice uh, way of it coming in. Look at the pixels up there where it says position up above. Uh, right, it'll show up right there. Make sure that you've got that at about, um, well, I'll tell you what, this line right here is going to get just a hair thicker when you've got it going directly straight across. About like that. You might not be able to see it but it gets a, little, a hair thicker when it's direct straight across. Now go ahead and move your um, keyframe to about here and we're going to move it up a little bit. It'll come up a hair during this time and now move your time line a little bit farther ahead and make it slide down. There. Alright, so let's go ahead and play that through. Make sure you um, unselect keyframe recording otherwise it'll if you move it at all, it'll try to record that. Alright, so we got sliding in there. Sticks around for a second. And drops back down. Alright, so it looks real nice. And so now, to get this in Final Cut Pro X, we're going to go ahead and say Command S for Command Save. Go ahead and name it. Lower third. Um, you can save it in a category. I'm going to save it under the next titles. If you don't have a category, select a new one. I'll show you how to do that. You say new category. Tutorials. Spell check. <laughs> Alright. And you can select a theme. I'm just going to save it under none. And if you save a preview movie, It'll create a um, a movie that'll uh, show up as as the icon of it. You can scroll over it and watch how your footage would look with your lower third on it. I'm not going to do that because it'll increase the time for export just by a little bit. But now I'm going to say publish. All right, and it'll another drop down box will come down in a second. No, okay, I guess not. That's it. So now we're going to go over to Final Cut Pro X. And I'll show you how you can use it in that now. Alright, so now that we're in Final Cut Pro X, you can go under Titles, Tutorials is where I put mine, lower third. So I'm going to drag that on top of this. So now, there you go. Your title will come in, drop out. And so that's how you make a uh, ah, bugs. 